Good morning one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. In this video, I'm going to be talking about insert, update, delete on Amazon S3 with AWS Athena and Apache Iceberg tutorial. Okay, so let's get started with today's session. Um, for people who are watching me for the first time, hi guys, uh, my name is Samil. I hold a bachelor's in electronic engineering and a double master's in computers and electrical engineering. Um, I love teaching people uh, during my free time. So, you know, I create a lot of tutorials on AWS, um, you know, data science, machine learning, uh, backend, and much more. But this tutorial will focus on uh, AWS Iceberg. So if you're looking for something like delete, update, or something like that, asset properties, this video is for you uh, using Athena. What is AWS Iceberg? Uh, Apache Iceberg is an open source stable format for very large analytic data set. Iceberg manages large collection of files as table and it supports modern analytical data lake operations such as record level, insert, update, delete, and time travel queries. The Iceberg specification allows seamless table evolution, evolution such as schema and partition evolution and it is designed, uh, is optimized for usage on Amazon S3. Iceberg also helps guarantee data uh, correctness under the concurrent right scenarios. Is Athena asset compliant? Athena is asset compliant and all the tables are, are external. This means when a table is dropped, only the metadata for the schema is removed, not the underlying data. What is ACID? Well, ACID transaction enables multiple users to concurrently and reliably add and delete S3 objects in an atomic manner. When I use the word ACID, I'm referring to the AWS, okay? While isolating any existing queries by maintaining read consistency uh, for query uh, against the data lake. Okay, so it's time for demo, uh, as I said, right? So I'm gonna show you a demo. So I'm on my bucket. I have a sample data set that I have generated using a faker tool, right? So I'm gonna run my glue crawler and then I'm gonna show you the demo of Apache Iceberg. So when you run your glue crawler, uh, essentially you wanna come to the crawler and very, very quickly we'll do this tutorial, okay? So first of all, I have a database called LearnDB. I'm gonna delete all the tables so that I can show you that uh, uh, this working. So let me click on delete. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna create a crawler. I already have one, but I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? So I'm gonna click on test, next. Click on next. Okay, I'm here, I'm gonna select my data store. Uh, my data store is gonna be the data. Gonna click on next, next. Choose an existing role. Run on demand. We'll click on add new columns only, next. Oh, I gotta select the database. I'm gonna select learn DB, next, finish. Now I'm gonna run my crawler. My crawler will crawl over the, my data store and it will populate the metadata base and then I can query using Athena. Then I'm gonna show you the power of um, Iceberg, how you can insert, delete things uh, from a table using Apache Iceberg, okay? So let me run this. All right, I think uh, we are all set. Uh, oh, it's still starting. Uh, sh so shortly you should add a table. So let's wait for a second or two. I have some code snippets. Uh, in my notepad plus plus that I'm gonna share uh, that I'll be sharing with you. So uh, I have some sample queries, uh, which I'll be sharing you the data set also I'm gonna be sharing with you. Uh, so if you if you want to find all that, uh, please find that in the uh, uh, description section below. Okay, uh, so let me make sure my camera is a little bit. Okay, Ho hopefully you guys can see uh, everything. Okay. So I'll, I'll try to make it this size. Uh, it seems like my uh, window is a little bit bigger. So as you can see here, I have, I have my stuff, right? So I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Okay, so uh, 55 seconds and now it's stopping. So one table has been added. So if I go to Athena and I'm gonna refresh and I'm gonna close all this so I can explain you. Okay, so close, close. Okay, so now if I refresh, I should see something called LearnDB and a data. If I click on preview, well, I can essentially, uh, let me close this one as well. Uh, yeah, essentially uh, I have a bad, bad partition. So let me quickly fix that. So I'm gonna go to the table section and I'm gonna, essentially there's a duplicate um, 
since I, I'm also creating a partition, customer is a partition, then there's also an item called partition, a uh, customer ID. So I just have to delete that. That's, that's pretty much it. So I'm click on it. Save, and that should be it. So for learning purposes, now again, refresh, run the query. You should see the data on uh, AWS Athena. As you can see, everything works great, okay? Now, let's uh, talk about Iceberg, okay? So I'll try to make my notepad plus plus visible to you guys. So the first um, thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a table called Iceberg Test. These are the fields that I want for my, let's say analytic purposes. This is my location and very important thing is the table type has to be Iceberg, okay? So I would copy this command, okay? And then I'm gonna click on the new one and I'm gonna run this. This should create my table. As you can see, Iceberg Test, okay? Now, I will be showing you uh, how you can uh, essentially insert into that. So here I'm saying insert into LearnDB Iceberg Test, select everything from name, phone number, city, and address from LearnDB Test. So I do that. And then what happens is all the data from my table data will be inserted into Iceberg Test, okay? So um, that's running, the query is running, and now it's complete. So now if I come here and click on Preview Table, all the data should be there in my Iceberg Test. So hopefully I can show you, as you can see. Now, what this allows us to do is essentially it allows us to do a CRUD operation. So now I'll be deleting a profile with uh, Mary Brian, right? So I'll say delete from LearnDB Iceberg Test where the name is uh, Mary Brian. I will run that. So Mary Brian should be gone, okay? So now, uh, quickly, let's wait. Okay, so that's done. Now, if I come back to my, uh, oops, I think I already, uh, I by mistake inserted that again, but it's fine. So let me quickly let, let this finish and then I'll, I'll show you that again. It's taking a while. Uh, I wanna stop this. That's fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna delete, uh, remove the delete state. I'm, I'm gonna uh, again run the delete statement and then I'll go to the iceberg test table and then I'll try to show you. Uh, hopefully that guy should be gone, Mary Brian. Uh, so if I come here again, so uh, Mr. Mary Brand is gone, as you can see now, right? Um, now we have Mary Chan, okay? So now you can also run update statement. So now here I'm saying that update, uh, you know, iceberg test table, set the name as Saumil, where the city is Do Douglas Park. So if there is any city called Douglas Park, or for example, let's do uh, Jasmine Port. Uh, so I'll, I'll copy this one, right? And then I'll head over to my editor, and then over here, uh, let me see the result. Let's take uh, Jasmine port, for example. So now I can, you know, run the query and uh, hopefully the name should be changed to Saumil there, right? So essentially you can do all, create, update, delete, everything now you can perform on, um, perform on the table uh, using, if the table type is iceberg. So now if I run uh, my preview table again, uh, hopefully I should see the name as Saumil there. So it's running and here you can see the name as Saumil. So um, I strongly recommend if you want to uh, learn more, there's a beautiful video by Amazon. Uh, I, I essentially learned everything from there. You know, I, I love learning as I said, right? So uh, it's about, I guess, for 20 minutes or 30, 30 minutes, not sure. Uh, so I'll show you the video. Uh, this one is the video. Uh, it's called... Um, Hello, everyone. Insert, update, delete S3, uh, insert, update, and delete on S3 using uh, Amazon Athena and Apache Iceberg uh, by Mr. Uh, Ram Kumar, uh, by Mr. Ram Kumar. So a very great video. And of course you can dive more and more deeper, uh, uh, essentially read more documentation and learn more about it. But this is essentially how you can uh, do CRUD operations uh, on, on, on your tables using Apache Iceberg or Iceberg uh, using Athena essentially, okay? Hope this is useful and if you had any more questions here, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, with that being said, we'll keep exploring more and more new things and new, new stuff and uh, I would see you guys in the upcoming next video.